here we are in a set that I made earlier today on the way in here. And there's a Martin caught there, but he's still, he like just, just, just got caught because he's not even expired yet. Uh, he probably looks like he's just caught by the foot or something. Anyways, I better get, get rid of him. All right. Okay. Well, there he is. Juvenile male. Maybe a, a large, typical color for our Martin. And no, he was not caught by the foot, he was caught by the neck. But just because it, was, it got jammed in the box sideways somehow. I had to tear the box apart to get him out. And I'm just going to waste this box. I'll use it at one of the uh, Martin nesting boxes as the feeding station. But I'll bring another one tomorrow to put in there. And uh, cool. First Martin in a couple years. Lots, of, well, not lots, but probably four or five sets of tracks in the, the bush down here from this morning, since, which is a, a huge, huge improvement over last year for sure. Awesome. Hey, I just wanted to show you something. I'm just down about 100 yards from that Martin I just took out of the, or caught that Martin, and I've been, there must have been a wolf coming towards the bait. Because he's been running at a full gallop down my quad trail. And he's a big one. Look at that. It's back this way. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's his track. Look at my hand imprint. He's as wide as I can spread my fingers. And right there is where one of our deer hunters yesterday got a shot at a big wolf. But missed him.